I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about salbutamine as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage and side effects. Salbutamine is a synthetic version of vitamin B1 or thiamine. Japanese researchers synthesized salbutamine by bonding two vitamin B1 molecules. They developed salbutamine in response to a countrywide health crisis. The Japanese population were severely thiamine deficient from a rice-only diet. Large numbers of the population were suffering from beriberi, which is a central nervous system disorder caused by lack of thiamine. And your body does not produce thiamine on its own, so you must get it from food, including beef, brewer's yeast, beans and lentils, milk, nuts, oats, oranges, pork, rice, seeds, wheat, uh, whole grain cereals, and yeast. But thiamine has poor bioavailability. By synthesizing thiamine and producing uh, salbutamine, you get a fat-soluble compound that is easily digested and that readily crosses the blood-brain barrier. Salbutamine is a synthetic version of vitamin B1 or thiamine. It is two B1 molecules chemically bonded together. Thiamine is water soluble and does not easily cross the blood brain barrier. Salbutamine is fat soluble compound that easily crosses the blood brain barrier. Salbutamine functions in the body just like thiamine, but because it's more bioavailable, it's more effective than thiamine. Well, first, salbutamine is a fat-soluble molecule that crosses the blood-brain barrier more readily than thiamine. And once in your brain, it increases levels of thiamine pyrophosphate, or TPP. TPP is directly involved in the citric acid cycle in your brain. This cycle breaks fatty acids, amino acids, and monosaccharides into smaller molecules that produce ATP energy for mitochondria and provide the building blocks of the molecules needed to produce brain cells. A defici deficiency in TPP can eventually show up as Wernicke encephalopathy or Korsakoff syndrome. Now in our society this syndrome is typically caused by chronic alcoholism but it can also occur after bariatric surgery for obesity, Crohn's disease, anorexia, and if you're on kidney dialysis. Symptoms of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome include confusion, inability to form memories, loss of memories and muscle coordination, confabulation, which is making up stories, and vision changes. And it can ultimately and very rapidly lead to coma and death. Now, less severe cases of thiamine deficiency include fatigue, weight loss, irritability, and confusion. And second, Salbutamine contributes to the production of the enzyme PDH, which is essential in making the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, and for the synthesis of myelin, which forms a sheath around the axons of neurons, ensuring that these neurons can conduct signals. The citric acid cycle and enzyme alpha-KGDH plays a role in maintaining optimal levels of the neurotransmitter glutamate and GABA. When thiamine levels in decrease, the activity of these enzymes are reduced. Salbutamine is directly involved in the citric acid cycle that produces adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, energy for your mitochondria. Salbutamine also plays a role in maintaining optimal levels of the neurotransmitters glutamate and GABA and contributes to pr the production of the enzyme PDH, which is essential and making the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Salbutamine will boost cognition, memory, and decision making and has very effective anxiolytic or antidepressant qualities. Salbutamine is a fat soluble form of thiamine which crosses the blood brain barrier and has been shown to improve glutamate choline and dopamine neurological transmissions and it may increase the density of D1 dopamine receptors. Now, nootropics users report salbutamine is, is a great study aid. 
On its own, salbutamine seems to increase the attention span in many neurohackers. And when combined with caffeine or any one of the racetams, many report being able to work effortlessly for hours on end. And study and work seems less stressful. It's also reported that it boosts motivation. Salbutamine boosts motivation and may report, many report that it gives them the drive they need for study or work. And many report that it increases focus. Salbutamine helps provide laser-like focus at work and school. Some report even the most tedious of tasks while staying in a very good mood. And sociability. Many users report being able to articulate thoughts and improve speaking ability. Language and your vocabulary seem to flow effortlessly. Thoughts and ideas come with less effort. And improved mood. Now, personally, I found that salbutamine to be more effective than any prescription antidepressant I've ever tried. And it's, it comes out without, without any side effects. Now, you should be able to experience the effects of salbutamine soon after you take it. We've got plenty of research, clinical research, on salbutamine, and I've detailed some of it over on the original transcript for this video on Nootropics Expert. The studies include salbutamine improves mood. I've got another one for salbutamine and chronic fatigue. I've got another clinical study on how salbutamine improves memory. And I've got one on how salbutamine improves athletic performance. And I've even got one on how salbutamine improves erectile dysfunction. So if you want to see more details of these clinical studies, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for salbutamine, or click on the link below this video. Recommended salbutamine dosage is 400 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams a day. Higher doses should be split into two doses, one in the morning and one early afternoon. Now, some neurohackers warn about dosing salbutamine too late in the day. Its mild stimulant qualities could interfere with sleep. And if you're just starting out with salbutamine, I suggest starting with a low dose and see how your body reacts. Tolerance can be a problem with salbutamine. So when taking it for extended periods, many find that it's beneficial to cycle it on and off for example, take salbutamine for five days and then two day, take two days off before your next dose. And salbutamine powder tastes particularly nasty. So you'd be advised to take it in capsule form. And you can save money on the cost of salbutamine by making your own capsules. And salbutamine is fat soluble. So take it with a tablespoon of refined coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil for better absorption. Salbutamine is non-toxic, so it's considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare, but they include, can include skin rashes and eczema outbreaks at higher doses. Salbutamine can cre also create mood swings, particularly if you're bipolar or are taking bipolar medication. And if you take salbutamine too late in the day, you may find it interferes with your sleep because some find that it has mild stimulant effects. And there are some reports that salbutamine can be addictive. So if you have an addiction-like tendencies, you might want to be cautious about using this supplement. It does affect dopamine levels in your brain. Salbutamine is sold in tablet, capsule, and powder form. Tablets and capsules are typically 750 milligrams each. And it's sold as a prescription medication in some countries under certain brand names, particularly in Europe and possibly the Far East. So my nootropics expert recommendation for salbutamine is up to 1,000 milligrams a day. And that's my report on salbutamine. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for salbutamine or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using salbutamine, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. 
And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.